All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Akwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well and labor in the word and doctrine. I'm going to do a real, real brief, quick hit concerning the holy city, proving that the holy city is a people rather than just a place. You know, you've got people out here teaching, right, there's going to be a city in the sky. You know, you're going to have skyscrapers and tents and this and that, hills and valleys. Bust down from the sky, come onto earth, and that's the kingdom. Right, firstly, let's start on the scripture here. Luke chapter 17, verse 21. It says, Neither shall they say, Lo, here, or lo, there, for behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Now, what does that mean? He was speaking to the Pharisees at that time. Right, and he said, The kingdom of the Most High cometh not by observation, and then proceeded to say that. So that means you're not going to see a city come down from the sky. Right, you might see a city, but not a city. Like, what the, what the fuck's he saying? You might see a city, a people, a people group come down. That's known as a city, the holy city. But you're not going to see a literal city bust down out the sky. All right, this is 2 Maccabees. Chapter 4, verse 19. No, it's not. Right, this is 2 Maccabees 5 and 19. Nevertheless, the Most High did not choose the people for the place's sake, but the place for the people's sake. All right, so the Lord didn't set up a, a place, a perfect... Um, he didn't choose make the holy city, literally, right, a literal landmass, and think, right, I need to, I need to put some, myself some people here. Right, but he made, he made the people, he found the land, and he put the people into the land. All right, so the place was made for the people's sake. The whole point, it wasn't to glorify or to to glorify a landmass. You know, it was to glorify people that would glorify his name and he chose a certain land, a certain pit, as the scriptures say. Second Ezra 5.24 and, and of all lands of the whole world, thou hast chosen thee one pit, and of all the flowers, there are of one lily. Right, so that's his, his chosen. So the one pit, you know, is that landmass. The true land, the chosen land, the holy land, is from the river Nile, the great river, to the Euphrates. Right, that's the whole landmass. <clears throat> so you see, Jerusalem is a people before a place. That's what we all say. So that's the holy city. Right, Matthew 13, I think it's in 13. This is Matthew 11 and 12. It says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. So the kingdom, that's the Israelites, being taken by force by the violent, the Romans. Right, the John the Baptist from that time, or well, obviously from before that time, when this time scale, John the Baptist until now, who was in rulership? The Romans. Right, and they were brutalizing Jake, right, the Israelites. So that's who it is. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Said, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Right, so that's what it is. Come out of her, come out of her, literally. Right, you've got people saying, Right, we need to come out of the ways of Babylon and use this scripture. Now, there's many scriptures you can use for that. This isn't one of them. This is talking about a literal physical deliverance. You can also line it up with Revelation 11 and verse 12, I believe it is. Yep, 11 and 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Right? So come up hither. That's a, a literal physical deliverance in a cloud, in a chariot. Right? So that's how. So now you've got, you've got the understanding that a kingdom, right? He made the people to foot as a people. Right? He didn't make the people to glorify the place. The pit. So now we get an understanding on who the kingdom is. You know, and how the kingdom, starting with the elect, well, with the elect. It's, well, it does start with the elect. Starting with the elect. We're beamed up you know, into a cloud, into a chariot. And that's the ones that are coming down. Right, so Revelation 21 and 2. And I, John, saw the Holy City in New Jerusalem coming down from the Most High out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Right, and there's many scriptures on that as well. Proving that we are the people. We are the Lord's wife, proverbially. Uh, Isaiah 54 and 5. And I'll close out on that. 
So it says, For thy maker is thy husband, Yahweh of hosts is his name, and thy redeemer the and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall he be called. Because when it's all said and done, he'll have rulership over the whole earth. And through the Israelites, all these other nations will learn of the truth. Right? So I'll leave it there. Pray it was edifying. Next video, Lord willing, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahushai, Bahasham Rachakwadash Shawa.